I was just watching a movie where it discusses the idea that time is relative and it absolutely is. We are not living in a straight timeline because I just unboxed 2023 singles case J a couple weeks ago and now we are going back in time to case H. See how it's underlined right there? This is case H with a lot of good stuff in it. Still don't have case G at the time I'm recording this. Hopefully soon because I really want those Tokyo Mater cars and Kelly Beam Brights. And then hopefully we'll then transition on over back to a more chronological alphabetical timeline with case K unboxing here soon as well. So a lot of fun, crazy, wild stuff going Going on in the sloppy distribution of 2023 Mattel's diecast mainline but hey it's getting out here one way or another and I can't complain about that and I couldn't be more thrilled to be unboxing 2023 singles case H here with you guys so let's just dive right on in 95c that will be on every 2023 case for singles it basically just means this is a 23 case especially with the C there that will then click on over to a D when we get to 2024. Obviously, May in Thailand contains 24 cars. We know, we know, we know. Except, yeah, <laughs> those Walmart cases only have 12, only half of this. So, yeah, don't want any of that crap. I make sure not to order those ones. All right, so of course they changed the size of the case, or at least they kind of rearranged it so that it's six rows of four instead of four rows of six. And I don't even have like anything to open this up with. We're just gonna have to really like claw at it like a raccoon here. Of course my T has been broken, but nothing I can't handle. Here we go. I am so excited guys. I know that Mateo is in here. I know that Jeremy is in here, which is who I'm most excited about because he's got all those doodads from the Road Rumblers episode. The Quadratorcasar was supposed to be in this case, but it seems like he or she has been delayed, which is kind of disappointing, but hopefully not canceled. And yeah, we're going to start on this side over here because it's the most boring. So yeah, let's just take that shelf down so then you guys can see everything. All right, we are starting off with two Paul Conrevs. Why? <laughs> it's a carryover from last year. It's not even a 2023 release here as you can see all this stuff is from last year murray clutchburn barry depel george newland flipped over a couple of ones that are still going to be released this year but most of these are from last year yeah so they have two of them i'm not really sure what they were thinking but hey it's a next gen and yeah we still live by the laws of nature that piston cut racers especially the next gens are very popular you know they still are six years after Cars 3 has come out. So I don't really care. I think it would be worse if there were more of McQueens in here, which I see a whole row almost of McQueens right there that I'm not too pleased about. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right, next up we have a Mater here on the new darker red packaging. Basically just transitioning the bottom half from the white to red to make it much more fluid with the rest of the Red Riders card. Is that significant? Does it really matter? No, not really. It's just a new card variant. Is this how all the 2024 packages will look? Maybe. I really have no idea though. <laughs> really have no idea why they're changing them over and intermixing them. But it seems like almost everything new that they come out with, like Johnny Blame or Misty Motocrass, will have the darker packaging, but it started like mid-year, you know, so Finn McMissile doesn't have it. But yeah, as seen in Cars, of course, you got a bunch of other classic Cars 1 characters here, which honestly look really cool seeing them all on the card back together because you don't really see that too often anymore. Everything's all jumbled up. But ever since a couple years ago, they've started to segregate all the movies and the tunes and whatnot. So this is really cool. Love seeing Doc in there with his classic paint job. So yeah, I like that. And then here we have Road Trip Lightning McQueen, the new 2023 variant of him where he's got a slightly different smile. But yeah, this has been in a lot of cases, so it's not really new anymore and is basically now <laughs> no different from the previous version that also peg warmed. <laughs> All right, clicking right along here, we have, oh, we have Jackson Storm on the new car. Can't say I've seen this one before. Maybe I have, but I just don't recall it off the tip of my tongue here or the top of my head. 
Jackson Storm, yeah, the igniter next gen, the villain of Cars 3 somewhat. Oh yeah, definitely haven't seen this. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe that they're doing this. Why don't they put other stuff from Cars 3 on the back here? <laughs> there's other stuff like, yeah, there's Heyday River Scott they could have put on the back here. There's a whole slew of cars they could have, but I don't know. They chose to just stamp a fat, thick Jackson Storm riding solo having the whole room to himself here. And they did that with World Grand Prix McQueen, which we'll see here in a moment. I can already see him in there. So that's a little weird, but yeah, I think this one is new because I would have definitely remembered if I had gotten a Jackson Storm with just himself on the back. So yeah, there's that. Put him off to the side. Heyday River Scott. This guy's been in the cases since the first case of the year, case B, not case A. Case A was canceled. And yeah. Lots of good Cars 3. Again, lots of great Cars 3 2023 releases. Fair game, Jet Robinson, Rich Mixon. Now, Pushover is looking <laughs> like he is in danger of a cancellation for 2023. I think he probably was supposed to be in case A, which, of course, like I said, they canceled. So along with that, might you know we might have lost a couple friends along the way. But we'll see. You know, There's still a lot of time left this year. At least it wasn't Fair Game or Rich Mixon, because that would have been way, way worse. But Pushover is still a really nice release, and the last one of him from 2021 is super duper rare. What's well, not super duper rare though? Chisaki. <laughs> and this is a carryover from last year. As you can see here, you got Mater with Balloon Otis. Very characteristic, very identifiable from 2022. Artist Ramon there, Lewis Hamilton, Sarge, Sheriff, Francesco. Some of those obviously have been re-released this year, but not Chisaki. And she's still got the white box here. I might have to crack open some Thailand variants of the Tokyo Girls, you know, Suki, Chisaki, Harumi, because I probably have a bunch of them at this point. Here we have Speed Demon. I haven't seen too much of her. The Terror de la Velocidad. Yeah, I actually quite like this inclusion although I think there might be two in here I don't know I heard that there were two in some case but yeah I think the artwork looks great obviously this is also a carryover from last year but yeah back when we only had three cars on the road releases from that first case Mater McQueen and Speed Demon how we've quickly very very quickly evolved and expanded on from that but yeah it's actually kind of nice seeing Speed Demon back in the mix all right, on to the McQueen rack here. Oh, this is a good bundle. I love this inclusion. Two of Cryptid Buster Lightning McQueen. Now, this guy debuted in case F, and that case has only been found at Walmart so far, meaning that they're only getting in the 12 count half version of the case, and that version does not include Cryptid Buster Lightning McQueen. It has Claire Gunzer and all of the Disney 100th anniversary releases, but they were like, yeah, I mean, that's seven new releases. Yeah, no, no, I'm cryptid Buster McQueen. Get out of here, man. But thankfully, he's back here in Case H. And I do think he is in, yeah, he's definitely in the 12-count version of Walmart's Case H. So yeah, yeah, Walmart's version of Case H, he is in. So he is out and about right now. That's right, by the way, this case, Case H, is being found at Walmart as we speak in the United States. But that, again, as I keep saying, is the 12-count version. And I'll leave the contents for the full case and the half case in the description below for your convenience. But, you know, we'll get to a couple exclusions and inclusions in a couple moments here. But just keep that in mind. If you want to find this case, it is out. Unlike Case J, which is not out yet. But yeah, this is great. I love that they put him back, and I think including two is actually a pretty good idea. Claire Gunzer, May Pillar Durev, Doug Crankle. Would love to see Doug in a case again. You have Cryptid Buster Mater, who I think we'll see here soon. Deputy McQueen, love to see him in her mix there. And then Gearston Marshall, so a nice little combo of Cars on the Road releases that are all from the past now. It's kind of wild that those are all out, and we were anticipating quite a few of those for a while. You know what I'm loving so far is that almost everything has been on like a mint card from this case. And the person who shipped this case just shipped it raw dog. Like they didn't even double box it. <laughs> they just slapped a label on this box and were like, bye. <laughs> but hey, I guess it worked. 
So yeah, here's that Lightning McQueen with racing wheels, the World Grand Prix McQueen on the darker packaging. This is in case J as well, I know. And yeah, there you go. Come on, that's just stupid. There are more Cars 2 releases they could include here on the back. I know that they've done some World Grand Prix racers, they've done Holly, they've done Finn, so I really don't understand the point of this. It seems super lazy to me, and it just looks, I mean, it looks like an international card, which, I mean, it's kind of irrelevant to say that, but it just looks empty. It looks incomplete. I could go on, but I'd rather not. <laughs> We're going to try and be positive today, because I'm a happy guy today. Happy guy, feeling the vibes. But yeah, him and Jackson are just, I guess, non-social, aloof, estranged members of society. <laughs> and here we have Royce Arevsley, a carryover from last year. But again, one of my favorite releases from last year, actually. So seeing him again, even though he's been released in multiple formats now, an accessory two-pack, the Salt Fever 9-pack, and single now. And he's also getting a color changer version, so we're seeing a lot of Royce. He's getting a mini racer. So he's a big dog on campus for sure, but I don't mind seeing him. I like him quite a bit. He was released in the second case of Cars on the Road stuff back in the day. I think that was L. So yeah, that also had Cruz, Griswold, and Speed Demon. Well, Speed Demon was already there, and then you had K Pillar Durab. Then the next case had Jats, Jats, <laughs> Dats, Jammin, Royce Rebsley. No, 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 no. Revo Koss and Greebles. It all starts to blur, you know, but it's really hard to keep the cases straight, you know, especially after the passage of some time. But yeah, Royce is cool. We got a little divider here, a little cardboard divider. Nice. Probably helps keep them a little bit in better shape. Now, this is pretty cool to see. You have two Doc Hudson's on the newer card. A little dusty, a little dusty. Yeah, I love how he looks on this new card. You have the classic version of Doc. Not the fabulous, not the dirt track, nothing like that. Just regular old Doc, and he looks great, contrasted by the red background there. You never see this guy peg warm. You never see Doc, or you never see the king peg warm. So this is awesome. Really happy about this. And again, you got the classic cars. One characters, the main characters on the back here. It really kind of brings me back to 2006, where you'd flip over one of the desert singles and you'd only have like the main characters. I mean, all these guys were on there, and some of them were using these exact same images. Now, of course, you know, McQueen's changed, but a lot of them, you know, still are pretty similar or the same. So, yeah, this is cool. I usually complain when they do two of you know, a repeat like this, but I'm actually pretty happy about that. I don't think you will <laughs> have to worry about them peg warming. All right, we're going to bounce around here a little bit because we want to save the best for last, as per usual. We have another newer packaging here for Lightning McQueen, but this debuted all the way back in case E, so nothing too exciting. What's that going on here? We got a little chip action on his, what is that? It looks like there's like some gravel in there. There's like a weird gray piece of something in there would have been cool to get another air because you guys remember in case j i got that nile speed cone air didn't even realize it when i was unboxing it but the decals are like way way lower see that window should be up like another centimeter so yeah i would love to get another air but i highly doubt it but you know all things considered i've unboxed you know the thing about it i've unboxed a lot of cases but to have pulled three airs over the course of my case unboxing career is kind of a lot still. Again, love to see that. All right, let's go to Gear Dog over here. Gearston Marshall, the first new release for 2023 from Case B. He's been included in quite a few cases, so <laughs> not super pumped to see him. He is one of the more common cars of the year because not only has you know Walmart gone in the case and many of them with Gearston, but the only 2023 singles case Target has decided to get in up until like yesterday was case B with Gearston Marshall. So you go to Target, you find Gearston, you go to Walmart, you find Gearston. It's like, okay, I gotcha. I know you're here. You look cool, but not that cool. But like I said, until yesterday, Target did finally get in case E. So a little bit more variety now. We'll see Deputy McQueen. We'll see Cave McQueen, May Pillar to Rev, and some of the new darker packagings. You get Patty in that case, Jeff Corvette, Lizzie, I think, as well. So things are moving forward, finally. 
at target very happy about that but it would have been nice if they just skipped like all the way to k that would have been really cool would have given us a reason to go there all right so i knew griswold had to be on the back of well i knew they had to or she had to have been included in one of these cases here because he or she has been on the back of so many packagings and not just like it's weird because it's a carryover from last year, right? But there have been so many packages that have featured Griswold. Like here on Nile Speed Cone, Griswold makes a magical appearance amongst a bunch of other 2023 releases. And you start to wonder like, what you doing there, bud? You know, and then I'm like, wait, I bet he's in case H or something. And yeah, sure enough, bam. And I love Griswold. Definitely one of my favorite 2020 or 2022, 2023 cars on the road in general releases, the station wagon, all the doodads. And I know that's kind of a repaint of Bill Revs, but I really am a big fan. I am a big fan. And this is the first one I'm noticing to have like a little bit of a crease. So this case is looking really good because if that's the worst of it, that's not bad at all. So yeah, carryover from last year, but appearing on new card backs, still find that a bit strange. All right, we got the three new releases all bundled up right there, but we're still gonna skip them because I'm just <laughs> maniac like that and like to tease you guys. All right, here we have Lizzie. Lizzie's windows look way like darker. They look way beiger than they usually do. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but they look way yellower than usual. Yeah, like I said, Lizzie was included in a case a couple ago, in case F. No, 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 case E was when she debuted. She looks great. Again, love seeing a classic car. And yeah, this is a little bit of a weird card back though, for sure. You get Greg Candyman, you get Sarge, just wedging Lizzie in there. <laughs> Such a weird little threesome. <laughs> so weird to me. But yeah, just a weird combo. Would have been nice if she was included like on the Doc and McQueen card backs. She would have fit nicely in with those original ones. But yeah, this is cool too. And hopefully we get Greg soon. He's been on a lot of card backs over the last couple months and have yet to see him. Here we have Cave Lightning McQueen. So making his first appearance since Case E where he debuted. And yeah, I have to say it between Case Cave McQueen and Deputy McQueen, Cave McQueen's peg warms way more. And I wouldn't even say peg warm, but has been more common than Deputy McQueen tenfold. I don't really know why. I think they're both very cool in their own ways. Would have thought that they would have sold more equally, but no, yeah, Deputy McQueen just way more popular. And so, yeah, this probably was not the best choice, but hey, I mean, that's a kind of a lot of McQueens in this case. So that's like five, five or six. I think it's five. Thankfully, though, I know in case J, like we just unboxed, that case had two Deputy McQueens, so actually it kind of balances out. So good stuff. Cave McQueen, welcome back. Deputy McQueen, you're more popular, though. Not to say you're my favorite, though, because I actually, I think I like Cave McQueen more. Here's another double inclusion. Krusty Rotor, the vinyl toupee racer. Now, I know the rule, you know, Piston Cup racers, you know, law of nature, they sell, they don't peg warm, but... I, ugh, I'm struggling to see why they did this. <laughs> I really am not quite sure why they put two of Krusty in this case. Now, granted, it's better than two of Paul Conrad, but like still, man. First off, Krusty was in KC. Second off, Krusty was released last year in a two-pack that you could still probably find at a lot of Target stores across the USA. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of the double here. I think one would have been nice. Actually, this is one of the singles from 2023 I've yet to find. I'm not sure if that's because it's not in the Walmart version of the case because that would, yeah, that would just solve it real quick. But I don't know. I'll have to look at it again. I didn't find much of KC. I had to really kind of piece, piece everything together. I did find Holly. I found the variants. I did find Lee Revkins. But beyond that, not a whole lot. But yeah, two Krusty Rotors. Fine. It is one of my favorite Piston Cut racers. I like the art that they use for him here, but still a little bit like questionable on that decision. But hey, that's why I just make videos. I am not in charge of Pixar. All right, we have, well, we have three left here. All right, let's just start with Cryptid Buster Mater. And oh my gosh, I am mad at myself. <laughs> All right, so let me tell you guys a quick story. So of course, 
because time's not linear. Case J came out first and I was able to get my hands out, reviewed it. Cryptid Buster Mater is in that case. He is in both case H and J and just one a piece. And I waited and I waited until the very end <laughs> of all of the Case J new cars that I reviewed to do Crypto Buster Mater. As you can see right here, he's out of the package. You have not seen the video review of him yet, but he has been recorded. He's out of the package. And I just actually did that yesterday. Very stupidly, I was kind of thinking like, all right, I need to do something productive with my day. Let me just finish the Case J stuff off. And I did that. And I realized now that that was dumb because that one was on like a mint card and this one's a little mangly. <laughs> This one might be the worst card in the entire case. It's like not even crease, it's just like super mangly. Like maybe I'll be able to flatten it out and it won't be so bad, but oh man, that's just bad luck for you right there. But either way, this was his first appearance technically, although case J came out first and we did that one first. Case H technically is first, okay? So there you have it. Yeah, this guy looks great. Definitely look forward to my review of him. I love how they did like this angled blister right here. I mean, he just looks tremendous. I'll tell you right now, I rave about this release in my review of him. Although I do think he's maybe not quite as you know, flashy as some of the other cars in that case, Adam Rodriguez, Wes Flampus, the Piznica Racers, and even the like other version I made her here, Rumbler made her. So yeah, hopefully I can flatten this one out. But yeah, that is pretty annoying. <laughs> that is just bad luck. All right, and here are what everyone came for, the two really, truly new releases from 2023, singles case H being Jeremy and Mateo, who we'll get to. This is awesome. Oh my God, look at this blister. Look at how they had to shape it to fit his flamethrower over there, his mallet here. Oh my God, I can't wait to open this guy. And yeah, it looks like he's already wanting to get open because this card is not in great condition either. Love the art that they're using for him. I think we saw this first on that Cars on the Road map I did a video on a while ago because it certainly looks familiar. But yeah, man, this is so cool. That's why I brought out the Rumblers here, you know, because Mater has a flamethrower as well. So him and Jeremy are going to have a little battle. I'm so glad that they ended up doing Jeremy. If you guys remember when I did my reveal of this case, it didn't say Jeremy on the documentation. It just said nervous guy and for reasons i can't disclose i knew that it was from the road rumblers episode and i made the guess that was jeremy and i'm very happy that I was right i was kind of in between him and one of the vw bug carriers for the chiefess but yeah they aren't really nervous they were more so like just exhausted but i didn't think jeremy seemed nervous either he seemed more like naive and unsure of himself i don't know he didn't really strike me as nervous his voice definitely had kind of that nervousness to it though the way that was like high pitched and kind of you know, like i said unsure of itself but i don't know he didn't really come across as nervous still though this is awesome this is awesome i can't wait to unbox him see what we got here grooming on the back Crypto Buster McQueen, Mateo, Crypto Buster Mater, Niall Speedcone. So I guess Niall Speedcone was replaced because, yeah, she was supposed to be in this case. I've been saying for forever that she was going to be in this case, but it looks like she got moved back to case J. So interesting. All right. Good to know. You got Griswold there and then the Quadratorcasar, who seemingly also was moved out of this case, but... Not to Jay, sadly, probably, hopefully one of the future cases because it would really suck if that one got canceled. It looks so cool. Either way, though, I think I have confidence that even if it was canceled, they'll do it again like in 2024 or they'll at least try to. But yeah, I will be reviewing Jeremy probably first here out of this case. I think I already put it up on my video schedule, so keep an eye out on that. And then here we have Mateo. Of course, Mato's fiance and then husband. This is a tiny car. Holy crap. I was not expecting Mateo to be so small. Look at this, guys. Look at this. My gosh, he is minuscule. So yeah, that definitely makes him a new model. I was thinking it might be the same model as Ruka and some of those other ones. I think, yeah, Ruka, Yukio, Hiroki, Takashi, blah, 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 blah. But nope, Mateo is definitely smaller than all of them. And yeah, I'm excited to review him as well. Can't wait to get Motto from Case K, pair him together, and bam, that'll be awesome. He does have the flower bouquet that 
he has in the movie. Nice exclusion, the turquoise wheels as well. It does feel a little wrong for Mateo to come out before Mato, but hey, <laughs> Mattel doesn't care. They're like, what the hell does it matter? They'll buy him in any order we release him in. We could have started off with <laughs> Kelly Beanbright and Mateo and Speed Demon in that first case, and nothing would have changed. Here we go again, same stuff on the back, just instead of Mateo, it's now Jeremy. Simple as that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video unboxing of 2023 Singles Case H. It is now your job to tell me in the comment section below which one of these cars is your favorite. So after it's all said and done, this case has three new cars. Cryptid Buster Mater, Mateo, and Jeremy. My favorite is Jeremy, followed by Mateo, and then CBM. It also has some great re-inclusions, like Griswold and Lizzie. I'm very happy to see those back. I think to include two of Krusty Rotors a bit much, but yeah, it's fine. Cave McQueen's kind of nice to see back as well. And yeah, honestly, the other really only good parts of the case were the two Cryptid Buster Lightning McQueens. And it's nice that him and Mater are in the same case. So hopefully, once we get to the point where Target gets this case, you can find them both at once because that's why I also wanted to mention the Walmart version of this case said, screw you, Cryptid Buster Mater, you gone. And yeah, completely yoinked him from the case. I do believe both of these bad boys are in the case though. I know for sure Mateo is. Jeremy might have also got in the booth though. McQueen definitely is. Mateo definitely is, but yeah, just look at the content in the description below, and yeah, that'll be that, guys. Thank you, as always, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye now.